a completely PC-free method too. Recover your device easily and quickly. We formatted our phone because we D forgotten what the screen lock was. After our phone restarted correctly, we saw this little padlock on the top left. Well, in this video tutorial, we'll explain how you can recover your device without using a PC. If you want to recover your cell phone, I recommend watching this video step by step. Previously, when our phone showed accessibility, it meant our phone was unlocked, not locked. But these features have been updated, and now they no longer appear. The possibility remains, and we still see this little padlock on the top left. If that's your case, your device is still locked. What are we going to do to recover our device? Well, first of all, we're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network to begin the recovery process. Previously, we could also access our device with a tool by typing the code ADB asterisk number zero asterisk number zero and a text screen would appear where we connected a tool to the device, ran it, and the device would automatically remove that Google account. That was one of the first, fastest, and easiest options to access our device. But as everything changes, so we're also going to click here on add. Then here on manual and connect to a Wi-Fi network. Now, what we're going to do is follow all the steps until we get to where the Google account, the forgotten Gmail account appears. We're going to follow all those steps. I also want to mention that we have other methods, other videos, tutorials for both PC and offline use. You'll find all the methods in the video description. And in the first pinned comment, there you'll find all the different methods, additional methods. If you follow the steps, you'll be able to recover this device. That's why we always recommend watching it step by step. Why? Because there are always people who write to us saying that we cut the video tutorial that we always cut the video, but, well, people always write that to us. But, well, that's why we've made this video tutorial without cutting the video. We're going to make it a little longer. But you'll realize that at no point will our video tutorial be cut. For those people who do want to see other videos, we've indicated in the video description and in the first pinned comment that you can also solve this problem with other tutorials. For those people who have a PC, you can go to that description. Also, another thing I want to mention is that YouTube has enabled the member community session for those people who are always attentive to our video tutorial and are always following us and always watching our video. Well, what would be the benefit? Of this subscription. The benefit would be that we would be publishing videos in advance. And we will be publishing them through that community. We will also be able to ask you any comments or have any questions you may have. They will write to us and we will answer all there questions. We will also provide you with any tool you need, easily and quickly. With all that said, what we're going to do now is click here where it says, use my Google account. This will take us directly to our Google account. Now, what do we need here? 
for those who may have forgotten their screen lock. But know their email, you can add the email here, click next. Enter the password and it will give you access. Recovering your device this way would be the easiest and fastest way. But let's say you don't have the email. It also gives you the option to add the phone number. If you have the phone number, you add it. Click next and you'll receive a recovery code. You'll receive this recovery code. You enter it here in the phone field and it will give you access to your device. But let's say you don't have either the email or the phone number. Then I recommend you watch our step-by-step -step video tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is go here where it says, forget Gmail. We're going to click here, forget Gmail. Here we're going to write anything. We're also going to do the same thing here. This is to enable a function that will give us access to our device. We'll do this for a minute and a half. After that minute and a half has passed, we'll go back to the beginning to start the recovery process this way. An easy and fast way. We'll get here, we're going to do it as we said. That's why you always skip ahead in the video, tutorial and miss this part we mentioned. If you don't skip ahead, you won't have access to your device. Everything won't work correctly because you've skipped one of the best parts. If you don't skip the video tutorial, you'll understand it step by step and you'll be able to recover it. But if you skip ahead, you won't have access to this recovery. So, after that minute and a half, what we're going to do now is go back to the start page. Now we go back to the start page. Once we're here on the start page, we're going to click here on. Re going to click here. Sorry, we. Enable tab, we're going to enable it, we're going to click here. Double click, now we click here on finish, we double click again. Now here we're going to click on deny and now we're going to disable it. We disable it, we go back, we go back, we click. On start, we're going to click on start again. We click here, now we click here on manual. Here we will add a new network, we'll tap. This little gear icon here. We'll scroll down, tap reset. We'll reset these four options. We'll reset them one by one. And now finally we'll clear the cache. Once we've reset all of this, we'll restart our device. Now, when our phone has completely restarted, we'll finish the recovery process. We'll wait for our phone to restart. And then we'll complete the recovery process. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial so you don't miss any details and can fix this forgotten Gmail account. As we mentioned in the video description and the first pinned comment, we also have other completely different methods. Updated methods for those who want to try the PC method and other methods without a PC. You'll find them in that description. Okay, here our device is starting up. What do we need here to access our device? Well, I'm going to explain what we'll need. Let's go. Click here. Start. We click here and we're going to select. 
The first option here to generate a QR code. Now we need another phone. We're going to need it to have a screen lock. We'll be synchronizing this same screen lock with the phone. We. We'll have a Google account. We already have a Google account added. Lock. Screen. We go here to this Google profile. We're going to scan. We open. The camera here. We're going to scan this code. Here, an option to sign. In with Google will appear. Here it is. Sign in with Google. Now we're going to synchronize. Everything. We're going to synchronize using PIN. I'm going to write my PIN code and both will be automatically synchronized. Both the Google account and the screen lock that our phone has. We're going to synchronize all those two options. We click. We add everything here. It would give us access to recover our device. What we're going to do is press the button of press and hold the volume down and power button simultaneously to restart your phone. Once it restarts, the recovery process will be complete. If you follow the instructions exactly as shown, including disabling and enabling these functions, you'll be able to recover your phone. Yes, let's wait for it to start to complete the setup process. Once we're configuring it, you should see a message indicating that the account was successfully added. When that message no longer appears, the video tutorial has been successful. Sometimes, if the phone doesn't sync, you need to format it and restore it. Let's format and try again. Our phone is starting up now. Now we're going to the final step. We're going to complete the recovery process. Let's wait. We're going to tap add and now it will take us directly to where we can access our device. Let's tap here. It seems the internet is a bit slow. It's loaded now. Let's wait. As you can see, it says the account was added. This is the email we had on the other phone. You can see it here. I already told you that everything would be fully synchronized. Now we wait a few seconds until it gives us the option to go to the home screen. If you don't know how to configure it, I recommend that you do so. At the end of the video, I'll explain what you're going to do. So, let's click here where it says, don't copy. Now it will take us to this section. Here, you can add a new screen lock. That's up to you. You can add it. We tap here on skip and we tap skip. We're going to tap here. Here we also see the Google account that we added which is now synchronized. We click here to accept. Here you'll go up. This option will appear. You'll click on skip. You go up. You also click here on skip. Here we're going to reach these last steps. We're going to reach these last steps and here we would be finishing. We're going to click on these small letters that appear here. Here we're also going to click on these small blue letters that appear here. We're going to wait. We're going to wait a few seconds. We're going to wait. Okay, let's click again. Yes, we click here on skip. We click here on skip. Here we click on add here. And we're almost at the final step. 
We're going to wait a few seconds. We're going to wait a few seconds here. We're now finishing the recovery process. We click on next. We click here on finish. We click on finish here. It would take us directly to the beginning. We're going to wait here. We click on continue. We click on continue. You can uncheck. We give you all that here by opening here. Our device would be fully ready to use correctly. It's one of the easy and quick processes.